Good morning, everybody. The intention of the Mass is for Winnie and Austin Harrington. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who are prepared for those who love you, good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Judges. The sons of Israel did what displeases the Lord and served the Baals. They deserted the Lord, the God of their ancestors, who had brought them out of the land of Egypt and followed other gods from the gods of the people around them. They bowed down to these. They provoked the Lord. They deserted the Lord to serve Baal and Estrase. Then the Lord's anger flamed out against Israel. He handed them over to pillagers who plundered them. He delivered them to the enemies surrounding them, and they were not able to resist them. In every warlike venture, the hand of the Lord was there to foil them, as the Lord had warned as the Lord had, Lord had sworn to them. Thus he reduced them to dire distress. Then the Lord appointed judges for them and rescued the men of Israel from the hands of their plunderers. But they would not listen to their judges. They prostituted themselves to other gods and bowed down before these. Very quickly, they left the path of their ancestors had trod in obedience to the orders of the Lord. They did not follow their example. Then the Lord appointed judges for them. The Lord was with the judge and rescued them from the hands of their enemies as long as the judge lived. For the Lord felt pity for them as they groaned under the iron grip of their oppressors. But once the judge was dead, they relapsed and behaved even worse than their ancestors. They followed other gods. They served them and bowed before them and would not give up the practices and stubborn ways of their ancestors at all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. O oh Lord, oh Lord, remember, remember me, me out, out of, of the love, love you have, have for your people. people. They failed to destroy the peoples as the Lord had given command, but instead they mingled with the nations and learned to act like them. O oh Lord, Lord, remember, remember me, me out, out of the love, love you have for your people. people. They worshipped the idols of the nations and these became a snare to entrap them, 
They even offered their own sons and their daughters in sacrifice to demons. O oh Lord, Lord, remember, remember me, me out, out of the love you have for your people. people. So they defiled themselves by their deeds and broke their marriage bond with the Lord. Till his anger blazed against his people, he was filled with horror at his chosen ones. O oh Lord, Lord, remember, remember me out, out of the love you have for your people. people. Time after time he rescued them, but in their malice they dared to defy him. In spite of this, he paid heed to their distress so often as he heard their cry. O oh Lord, Lord, remember, remember me, me out, out of the love, love you have, have for your, your people. people. Let us stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. How happy are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. There was a man who came to Jesus and asked, Master, what good deed must I do to possess eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you ask me about what is good? There is one alone who is good. But if you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. He said, Which? These? Jesus replied, You must not kill, you must not commit adultery, you must not bring false witness, honor your father and mother, and you must love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, I have kept all these. What more do I need to do? Jesus said, if you wish to be perfect, go and sell what you own and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. But when the young man heard these words, he went away sad, for he was a man of great wealth. The Gospel of the Lord. There is something appealing about the young man's question in the gospel. The young man was earnest about finding spiritual meaning and purpose. He asked Jesus, what must I do to gain eternal life? And in reply, Jesus named several commandments about how to be just to others. The young man was not satisfied with his answer because he was already doing all these things and felt there was more he could be giving of himself. When Jesus revealed that more he needed to do, it seemed too much for him. Jesus invited the, the rich young man to sell his property and give his money to the poor. This was too big a sacrifice. So the young man declined and went his way grieving. Such a challenging, austere lifestyle is not for everybody. Yet for each of us, the path to life, the path God wants us to follow, will always include some self-denial and an unselfish relationship to others. By his teaching and example, Jesus showed us all what we must do to gain eternal life. Let us pray. Father, your son calls us to follow him, but we want to go our own way. Help us to let go of anything that places a barrier between us and Jesus' call. Lord, hear us. We pray together with Mary as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive yourself, your very self, to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, to your beloved Son Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as a Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling our will and gaining for you, a holy people, he stretched out his hands as endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so the angels and all the saints will declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending thy spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to request eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us Lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. God bless. Body of Christ. 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 Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ.
Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through the sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to this image on earth, we may merit to be his heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended.